Welcome back, guys, to my YouTube channel. My name is Wayne, and this is my Jamaican dream house. So today, I am finally getting my solar panel put in. I am excited. Can't wait for it to be up and running. My JPS bill was around 16,000 a month. I have one fridge plugged in, security camera, couple lights, um, all my light bulbs are LED, and I felt like that was a lot of money for my light bill, for the little bit of stuff I have. So I always want to go solar because I know that JPS is very expensive. Originally, they quoted me for 10 panel and two battery with an eight kilowatts inverter. Money was kind of tight, so I downscale from 10 panel to five panel and from two battery to one battery. The system was working okay, but it needed a little bit more. Right after I got the system installed, we had a hurricane. In my area, we was out of power for one whole month. I was really lucky to have my system installed. I didn't miss JPS at all. I had light, I had power, everything was normal. I was charging phone for people, laptop, making ice. Only problem I had was the power wouldn't carry me all the way through the night. So I knew I needed an extra battery. So I ended up calling them back for the additional battery and the remaining solar panels. So they come out and install the remaining solar panel and the extra battery. But I'm not 100% off of JPS because between three and five, my system struggled a little bit. I'm still relying on JPS a little bit, but not much. Yes, guys, those solar panels are big. Throughout the day, I can pump water, wash clothes, and use the rest of my appliances. I had a welder come by. He was welding some gates for my pig pen. This was during a blackout. So I test the system. I turn on everything I had while he was working. Everything worked. I had the pump going, a grass cutter for my, my goats to cut the grass up, washing machine washing, fridge, deep freeze, using the MIG well at the same time. Everything went smoothly, no hiccups. So I'm thinking if I had some extra money in the future, I would probably buy one more battery. Hopefully that will take care of my problem between one and five. I should be able to store more power, so I should be able to use more power. That's what I'm thinking. But I'm still feeling like I need one more battery to be 100% off grid. Let's see when I'll be able to afford to buy an extra battery. And guys, as usual, don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment. It helps my YouTube channel. All the information for my solar system it will be in the description below. So if you need more detail, check the description.